G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the Wrath of the Lich King Classic on the Human Palette in Artraxius. Want to see the series from the beginning? You can click on the link that's up in the top right, or you can find that link in the description below. Great to meet you. Walt, it's great to meet you. We can rebuild it. Tools? Check. Materials? Negative. If we're gonna build this thing, we're gonna have to get me the materials. First things first, Artraxius. For this scale little structure, I'm going to need a large barrel from Niflava, some dark iron ingots from Valgard, and industrial strength rope from Bailheim. Niflava and Bailheim have Raikul Downs northwest of here, Valgard is located in Dagakab Bay, also to the northwest. Speak with Makoiva to get the ingots, he'll fly you back here once you're all done. See you soon, you got my attention. We have the technology. Well, the infrastructure for a piece of machinery like this is important. I can't underestimate the appearance of the construct. If we're to fool the Iron Dwarves, the clone must be exact. I can make this happen. You bring me pristine shovel tusk hide from shovel tusk of this region and still rimming from Vrykul in Niflava. Niflava or Belheim to the northwest. Off with you. Off with me, okay. So we got a task ahead of us. Uh, shovel tusk right in front of us, hopefully we get it from these guys. Let's get them. Now that a lot of them, I'm sure we can get at least one hide. I wonder if uh, a skinner would be able to, like say it doesn't drop, they're able to just skin it and get the same thing. Come on, come on, come on. Where is it? Oh, not even one about from this guy. to wipe out half the population to find this thing. Well, let's make our way towards the... Uh, to Niflavar. I'll take out some shovel tusks out of, Oh, well, we'll take this one out. But I'll take out some more closer to it. Oh, there it is. Nice. Now, I just noticed my mana is absolutely... I was really high that nearly that whole time. And I switched over to Vengeance as well. Interesting. Usually when I do that, the mana just sort of... I mean, it, it lasts there a long time, but definitely doesn't stay at the top. But I've got this mushroom here that restores 200 when you kill a target. But I don't think I was killing that many. Like, they all sort of dropped at around about the same time. That's interesting. Just trying to figure out what kind of buff I've got on me. So... Damage taken, uh, reduced, and blocked, parried, 
and dodged melee attacks cause a gain of 2% of maximum displayed mana. I wonder if that's what was happening. Because it was just staying up there. But I don't think my defensives were that great. I don't know, maybe it's enough. Interesting. Okay, focus. We need to get this still ribbing. Maybe it's just because I had so many of them. I was dodging and blocking all the time. There's the still ribbing. Haunted herring. If you're looking for that still ribbing, I suggest you come to Nifulva. <laughs> okay, so we need a barrel. There's a barrel over there. A large barrel, industrial strength rope, ingots. That's one large barrel. Uh, industrial strength rope. We do have to go over to Belheim. And then after that... After that we can actually take a harpoon ride down there if we want to. Instead of using that. Although it might be quicker just to use the... The Hearthstone. Oh, cop and spears to the head. There we go, There's something down here. That's the industrial strength rope. So we can go now. I don't have it in my inventory, but I, I hope that we've unlocked it. It's a permanent unlock. Oh yeah, here it is. Ice Hammer's Harpoon Controller, right. Got a lot of keys here that I've never really used. Golden Skeleton Key, Silver Skeleton Key. Follow this path around. I'm probably going to be in combat by the time I get over there, but hopefully I can still click on it and send us on our way. That's it. Fine. <laughs> We're pro at this now. Like, if it went straight into the water, I could understand, but it goes straight to the ground and somehow... Somehow we survive like a champion. All right, let's go turn in that chilled meat. Because we still had that quest outstanding. That had since picked all that up. Ah, <laughs> oh, the rogue. That rogue gnome is still laughing over there. Hi. Hi. Oh, here is me meat. Oh, yeah, got me meat. Here is your recipe. I got cooking the do. Watch your back. Oh, he's happy. Oh, he, he... Okay, cool. He popped the, uh, the knowledge of that right into our face. Go make some shovel tusk steak. To give us some spell power. I can't use it till level 70. But when I can use it, it'll be good. I've also got, like, zero <laughs> space in my bags. It's already begun. Some northern stew here. Which I'll probably just sell to get rid of. Takes us to 369. You got my attention. Oh, cool, we can cook all that stuff. Chef de party. Safe travels. Cook all that stuff if you wanted to, if we've if we get the uh the recipes, I suppose. 
And the ingredients, more importantly. What's on your mind? Off with you. Great to meet you. Great to meet you. So I've got some cobalt that I can smelt. Uh, I can't use this stuff until level 70 as well. But it looks like I can make a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of defensive... Just defensive pieces. I don't have... Some... Oh, yeah, this has got spell power on it. Level 74, though. Critical strike, mana... Oh, here we go. But I've got to be a lot higher level. So that's called... Brilliant Saronite Belt. Nothing with spell power on it, is there? Oh, I guess I'll just use whatever I can for now. And as I get a little bit further on, I can start focusing on that spell power. Okay, so we got to find McGoiver. McGoiver, there he is. I got some dark iron ingots. Need assistance? McGoiver, pro. Evening, governor. Uh oh, Walt sent me to pick up some dark iron ingots. Hey, uh, su su suppose that you want to ride back up to the outpost, yup. Uh, yup. Alrighty then, here we go. We're on our way. Hey. Wait. Hang on a sec, what is he giving us? Good. McGoiver? This is the best you could come up with? It's stalling. Oh my goodness, the engine's stalling. McGoiver, what have you done, fella? A nice scenic, scenic trip. I actually wonder now at this point whether it'd be quicker just to jump off. Wait! Hey, this is in the way. Where the hell's this thing going? I thought this was going to be a nice quick trip back. <laughs> it thinks it's the boat all of a sudden. Around the mountain. That's one cool looking craft though, but still. That's it, go up there, come on. Straight up. Straight up. Oh gosh, it would have been quicker for me to just... I reckon if I just jumped off here and then rode up the hill, it would have been a lot quicker to get back. Unless this thing kicks it up into high gear. Nice shot of the boat though. Still on fire. All them Vrykel chains. Trying to send a message to us, to the Alliance, is it? This is what's gonna happen if you come through these. Through the Fjord. See some nice icy areas. Oh, there's the Horde over there. Or at least the Forsaken. Bunch of penguins. It is definitely not the quickest way back, but it is very scenic. There's a huge statue there. I wonder if it's missing an arm. It does look like it. So, because you remember we saw the arm over there. Eivald's Ruin. I wonder if that's its arm. Bell Guns excavation site. Whole bunch of lifts over here. Iron Rune. Steel Guard. What are they digging up over there? 
What can I do for you? Uh, we'll be back. We'll be back collecting our relics in no time. I'll have the construct all ready to go as soon as the infrastructure is complete. The dude over yonder is pretty upset about his rug. The dude? Where's the dude? The big Lebronski. <laughs> Alright. Have you got the infrastructure materials? I do. Here you go. What are you going to do with that? Excellent. These combined with a skin will make for a flawless claw of the constructs the Iron Dwarves use. Alright, Artraxius. The time has come for you to climb inside this thing and learn how to use its basic abilities. When you're ready, you get on the worker bench, and I'll get you situated inside the construct. Your first lesson is going to be using the construct's teletransportation system. You'll notice that the Iron Dwarves have set up special rune carvings around the dig site. The constructs use these rune carvings to power up and fly from point to point. You try it with the rune carvings I built here. Watch your back. So hop on the table. Walt's workbench is ready to use. Get on the workbench and let Walt put you in the iron golem. Or the golem suit, rather. Wait a second. Behold my perfect creation. What? That doesn't look anything like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold everything, fellas. <laughs> oh, Walt. What is this? Oh dear, loads of stone and steel. What, I repeat, what are you gonna do with that? I'm crying here, please make the funny stop. Man, that will never work. The Iron Dwarves are never gonna fall for that hunk of junk. You're out of your element, Lebronsky. Uncalled for. Those Iron Dwarves won't know what hit them. Now, why don't you get back to uncovering the mystery of the gigantic turd on your rug and leave the real scientists to their work? <laughs> get out of here, Lebronsky. Alright, so... Oh, launching. We're taking flight. Got them rocket boots. Alright, well that worked. Oh, stop right there, fella. Okay. Do I have to get out? Oh, okay. How are ya? You're almost ready to take the work to our, of art into the field, Atraxius. The most important part of your job while controlling the construct is the collection of data. I've placed an iron dwarf relic in the cart over yonder. It's the floating lightning infused crystal. Yeah, okay. Get on the workbench and I'll put you back in the construct. Once you're back in the driver's seat, you use the construct's data collection ability to pick up the test data. See you soon. Right. Let's go collect the data. Data collected. Great to meet you. Perfect. It works like a charm. You gotta always have a contingency plan in case your main plan backfires. That's why I've built in some anti-intelligence systems into the construct. Your shiny new ride may arouse some suspicion while you're at Baogan's excavation site. That's what your bluff ability is for. It just use that any time you're confronted and you'll be safe from harm. You test it out on Lebronsky by walking on his rug. Once he starts huffing and puffing, you use the bluff. Now get on the workbench when you're ready. Watch your back. Suited up. There's his rug. You! Don't you come on this dwarf's rug. You just don't do things like that. Oh, what happened over here, mate? That's terrible. Somebody did a what? What do you think you're doing, man? Lebronsky, Lebronsky does not appreciate dragging your loose metal parts all over his rug. I gotta bluff him, do I? 
You got my attention. Far out, man. The bucket of bolts might make it after all. He's convinced. We got him. How are ya? He's on our side. You showed him. Now it's time to put you in the field. Feeling confident, I hope. Lightning infused relics? Your construct is ready to go. All abilities have been given a once over, and I've programmed the machine to both comprehend and speak the language of the Titans. You take the construct to Bergen's excavation site, due south of here, and collect data from the lightning infused relics that lit the site. Remember to bluff any iron dwarves that suspect your construct to be a fake, and don't forget about rocket jumping from rune to rune to get around in there. Now get on the table when you're ready. See you soon. Hang on, buddy. What, can I do for what about the other quest? The delicate sound of thunder? The cavern that we opened at Bergans was one. Was the one place that most did clear of. Can't say I blame him. The sound of thunder shot out of that cave, Atrexius. Loud, booming thunder. I think near the end I was abandoned by all. Oh, bad, bad things happened to any that went in to explore. Most never coming back. I want you to check that cave out while you're at Pale Guns, explore around the Titan statue inside, and report back with your findings. Off with you. All right. Back into the work of art. And we're going over here. Bale Guns excavation site. Oh, this guy's a bit sus. Hit him with a number three. You're right, of course. Carry on. I've never seen one of you around here. Oh man, they can't like constantly sus. Yeah, leave me alone, fella. You should just avoid going near them altogether. Rampaging Earth Elemental. I haven't actually got any fighting abilities on me. Data collection. Collecting data. Data collected. Oh, so here's the runes. That guy's part of the earth. One with the elements. So if I go here and I hit rocket jump. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I don't know what's up with the legs, but here we go. <laughs> nice, safe landing. I mean, we blend right in, right? It's exactly what the golems look like. This looks like the cavern we need to go into. Oh, this guy's sus too. Five out of fifteen. Thundering cave explored. Seven out of fifteen. Stay right there, Rune Master. Nothing to be sus about, I guarantee you. I look exactly like those golems. Oh, look at that. A massive statue. Holding on the pillar. The sound of thunder roars throughout the cavern. Oh! 
come, minions, your master calls. The work of your brothers in the Storm Peaks has reached a frenzied pace. Soon father will be freed. Your brothers to the north have subjugated the stone behemoths and set them on the path to Udua. Soon the remaining defenses of the Pantheon will be neutralized. The three fissures opened by the mortals of this region must be silenced. The earth hears and sees what we do and will continue to interfere with our efforts if the way is not closed. Bury this place, your master demands it. Thundering Cave, investigation complete. Father? Who's the father? Oh, I can't mine. No! Must mine! It's right there. No idea what that guy's hitting. Nothing over there. Oh, here we go. Up and around. Oh, we got another one, sus. Get out of here. That's right, double your efforts, punk. Oh, there's a rune over here. Good. Let's use that. Launching! Alright, let's talk to this guy. Got two more to get. Is that one that's respawned? No. See two down there. There's one over here. Oh, I don't want to. Don't want to slip between the cracks. The two right here. Fantastic. That'll get the job done. Fifteen of fifteen, let's return. In fact, I think I could just jump out of this. That would be nice if we could just use our rocket jump. And fly straight back. Straight back there. I think I can just abandon it. At least I hope so. Just ride right back to Walt, wherever he is. Over here. Storm Giant. I wonder what happened if I, like, accidentally aggro that guy. I wonder how long I'd stay alive. I don't think it would be that long. Great to meet you. Incredible! What could those iron menaces be up to? What are they doing in the Storm Peaks? And what is this, Loken? I'll forward this information to our central base of operations in the Dragon Blight, Atraxius. Also let them know that you are invaluable in the acquisition I set in for. A two-handed sword. Oh, you know what? I do actually have a secondary spec now, so I might be able to try out a little bit of retribution. A little retro. So I'll take that sword. And once again, Walt proves that he is indeed the top dwarf. What do you think of my construct now, Labronsky? Thank you, Atraxius. This data will undoubtedly prove to be invaluable as soon as I figure out how to get it out of the construct. Uh, spell power, yes. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good. I'll take it. Fantastic. All right. News from the east. Westgard needs to know what's going on here, Atraxius. I want you to personally deliver the news to Captain Adams. Whenever you're ready, you let me know and I'll put you back in the construct for one final flight. It'll take you to Westgard Keep, but more than likely it'll blow up in the process. It's been a pleasure. Safe travels. What? I'm gonna fly over there? Is... Wait, wait, wait. He said I could go back in, right? What? Hi. Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm ready to go. What? Off with you. <laughs> Send us into space, pal. Launching. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Why doesn't it go more horizontal like we're flying? We could be Iron Man for a second. Golem Man. In flight. This is going to really take me the entire way. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't think it's safe. I have my doubts. What about this area? I thought I was supposed to go over there. But I guess I had a quest to go there anyway. Well, it's a nice flight. And enjoy the sights from way up top. Giving us a preview of what it would be like. Well, we can actually fly North End. To be able to do that, you've got to get something called cold weather flying. Uh, I can't quite remember how much it costs, but it's going to be a hefty amount, I'm sure. On top of that, I'm still looking at, uh, well, I guess after that, it's epic flight. Now, 4,000 or so gold. Actually, there's Epic Flight, but then there's another one that comes after it. So I think one gets you to 270, there's a 270, 280, and then there's a 30% faster. Although I don't remember how much that costs on top. All right, Westguard Keep, here we are. It's going to be a rough landing. An explosive landing, oh... System failure in three, two. We must have bubbled. 